once again, please, a big applause. Ireland, Brandon Murray. Hello. That's the question for you. How are you? <laughs> Good, yeah. I am um, second person. I'm very well. Um, there was a few changes to the lighting and stuff, and uh, a few sound changes that we're really happy with now. And uh, yeah, I've just been uh, exploring Kiev with these guys for the last few days. It's really? Been yeah, it's been very good. What is the main impression? Where have you been to what you tried? Uh, we go. Yeah, we went to, uh, yeah, we went to the Ura village and uh, yeah, we sat in the sun for about six hours there. Mm -hmm. So that was fun, yeah. There was lots of music and uh, there, was, uh, there was like a drum set you could go on and play that. And just, Few things, yeah. And then we went to, yeah, we've been in the Euro Club quite a lot now. Ah, oh. we we yeah. Uh huh. Yesterday it was quite hot there, yeah. That's right. Yeah. I've heard about that. that yeah. It was a lot of our national uh, uh, performers. Yeah, maybe, met, yeah. Yeah. I met a few bands there, yeah. Ah, oh, cool. Did you like them? Yeah, really good. Really good. Uh, okay, so you're enjoying the time spending here. Love it, yeah. It's great. Great. But talking about serious uh, moments, could you please share the emotions of today's rehearsal? What did you change? And uh, maybe you could um, introduce us the main thing of the LED um, screens and everything, because not everyone saw your second rehearsal. Maybe you changed something? Of course, yeah. Well, um, yeah, I was really happy with today's second rehearsal because um, my body language, I got to work on that a little bit more. Um, I got to show more emotion, I think, today. Uh, well, I was saying because the last time I was kind of was a bit jumpy uh -huh. in a few places, but uh, no, I'm really happy with the way it is now, and uh, we can only improve from here on. So um, that's what we're going to do now. And uh, yeah, the balloon as well. I don't know if uh, any of you know about the balloon, but uh, there's a balloon above me, helium balloon, and it's uh, the balloon is a sign of love. Um, love can take off at any point, into any direction of the world. We can take you anywhere. So that's what the sign of the balloon is. So yeah, and then there's uh, yeah, there's like. Are there any um, complications with using such a big decoration? I don't think so. Yeah. Well, the balloon was backstage, and then people were just wondering who left the balloon there. Oh, you know, <laughs> well, so everyone stuff. knows who's the balloon is. Yeah, they don't know. Yeah, people just someone just thought someone dumped it there or something. No, <laughs> okay, it's good. Yeah. Could you please introduce your, uh, I guess, back vocals here? Yeah, yeah. Of I'm course, yeah. <laughs> This is uh, Alison Bard Miller. I got her second name wrong last time. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just gonna apologize for that. Uh, this uh, next is uh, oh yeah, so sorry. Yeah, Alison uh, was a backing singer for uh, Ryan Dolan in 2013 for Ireland. So yeah, she's been here before. She knows a bit about it. Um, Margot Daly. She was a backing singer for Linda Martin back in 1992. Yeah, and uh, and in 2000 as well for Ireland. So she's also been here. Julian Edwards. Um, he was back and singer for Jedward in 2012 uh, when they sang Waterline. Uh, Graham, yeah, there's Graham. Uh, <laughs> Graham uh, lives down the road for me. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's um, this is his first Eurovision as well as mine, and uh, he does a lot of performance singing as well. And uh, then we have uh, Shane McDade down the end. Uh, he is uh, he's a performer, an actor, and this is his first Eurovision as well as mine as well. So. Uh, yeah, three of us have had experience and three of us are new to this, so it's, it's great. Great. Uh, how uh, long ago, uh, what, what, when was your first uh, rehearsal, maybe the first meeting all together? I guess it's not the whole time that you're working together. Yeah, well, we, purpose. yeah we met a few months ago when we were, I think it was when the song was released properly and everything, and uh, yeah, I got to meet the guys a few months ago, there was auditions and everything, so uh, I think we definitely, we definitely picked the right vocals as well, they're amazing live, and they're amazing people to work with, and um, yeah, it's great. Okay, I'm happy to hear that, that you're going great, and we're going to ask the next question, I see a lot of hands, yes, you please, thank you so much. Hi, it's uh, Martijn van der Veen, Eurovision artist in the Netherlands. You also sing in a, in, in a singing group called Hometown. Well, they are not here. No, no, we replaced them. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> so, so that was my question. Uh, how do they support? Do they support you? How do they feel about you being here? Yeah, the guys are um, the guys are so supportive. Like um, I still keep in contact with them every week. Like I was even chatting to a few of them this morning. So it's still great that like we were together for three years. So. It's kind of hard to lose that bond when you're, you know, we're like friends now practically. Um, so they still support me and one of the guys was on, a, was on a show in Ireland called Dancing with the Stars 
So uh, he really enjoyed that, and it was a great platform for him. And I support him the whole way through, and the guys are just supporting me every step of the way. So, uh, and I'll, whatever they want to do in the future, I'll support them as well. So um, it's great. There's no friction there at all. Okay. Thank you so much. Yes, Radio International, please. Hello Team Ireland, Hello. Team, uh, Team Ireland and Bernard, it's JP from Radio International. Uh, the song has been written by a Swedish guy who's been behind Britney Spears, Westlife and Kelly Clarkson, Jürgen Olof, Elofsson? Elofsson, yeah. How, how did you connect with him and for, for the original project? Yeah, well there was, um, when I was announced um, to represent Ireland in December, um, there was a competition up then, so there was over uh, to send in a song for this year's Eurovision. Uh, so there was over 350 entries sent in, and uh, towards towards the end it got whittled down to about 20 or 15, and there was, I think there was about three, three to five there, we were kind of, didn't know what to pick, and then everyone had to pick their favourites then, and all that, and uh, I think um, my manager, Louis Walsh, he'd be a judge on the X Factor in the UK, so um, Jorgen sent a song to Louis, and I think uh, that was dying to try, and I think we instantly kind of loved it, as soon as we heard it, so, um, yeah, definitely. I, for me, I saw something in it anyway that I loved, and uh, the first time I played it for my mom, she uh, she started to cry as well. So I think uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. I think it's the message in the song. It's a different message to anyone. Like it can, it can mean anything, but uh, yeah, it's um, it's lovely. Thank you so much. Yes, you please the second drop. Hello, Brendan. Hello. I'm Sebastian from Destination Novision, Poland. Hi. How's things? Thank you so much, and you? I'm good, good, yeah. Uh, you are a great part of this group this year, Eurovision. Young, very talented guys like Christian Costa from Bulgaria. So I'm asking you because for guys like you, sky is the limit. So my question is, do you want to play with numbers this year with your performance? Or maybe you're just thinking about coming with your song to the Dublin? I don't quite understand that question. <laughs> um, as in, maybe I clarify. Yeah. Yes. Please. Uh, I want. I want just to ask you that you are as a very talented guy, like Christian. Yeah. And you have so much potential, in my opinion, because you are so young and talented. So, how do you feel to be a part of this group? And do you feel that you can can take this Eurovision Song Contest in 2018 to Dublin? Absolutely. Oh yeah. Abs absolutely. Like you know, I'm only um, I'm only 20 years of age. I'm still learning as I go along, I'm learning new things every day. I've been singing properly since I was 16 and performing on stage since I was 16, so um, every day is just a new experience for me. So uh, it's just great to be a part of this uh, Eurovision family. And it's a wonderful platform as well, like there's, there's so much talent out there nowadays. And I think the only way to showcase yourself is most people go, tend to go on The Voice and The X Factor and Eurovision is just, it's up there. So, you know, I'm just delighted to be a part of it. Actually, uh, we are already almost celebrating uh, a week here, yes? <laughs> it's going too quick. <laughs> yeah, it's going too quick. Um, it's not the end, but still, yeah. maybe you already um, thought about the main experience or the main lesson that this week gave you. Yeah, it's like, even from even from Chantal, Alice and Margo and Julian, like, like, I asked them what it's like and you literally can't describe what it's like. It's like, it's a different world altogether. And um, like I'd ask questions saying, what's the stage and like, what's the whole experience like? They can't explain because it's so good. <laughs> so getting to experience it is just um, incredible. And the last week now, like it hasn't properly started yet. I think tomorrow, tomorrow's the open ceremony. So it's really going to kick off then. Like, so um, I'm just really looking forward to it. Uh -huh. Okay, great. The second drop, would you please stand up so that our girls can see where to bring the microphone? Yes, please. Hello, um, my name is Nevo, I'm a fan from Israel, and thank you very much for visiting Tel Aviv. That oh, was thanks for having lovely me. to see you there. Um, I wanted to ask about the going to final pressure, back in Ireland. Um, Ireland has been, you know, it's, it's been difficult for Ireland to get to the final, and I believe that Nikki, uh, Nikki Byrne last year said that even if they send you two, they wouldn't go to the final. So I'm just, now you have Louis Walsh behind you and Linda Martin as well, as I believe. And how much do you feel the pressure back home to reach the final? No, I feel, um, to be honest, I, I feel, I don't feel any pressure <laughs> as much. I know it's hard to say, like I know on the night I'll feel nerves and everything, but uh, I know it's only Saturday, a few days away. 
But um, you know, I'm uh, I'm grateful for everything that uh, Louis Walsh has done for me. He's opened plenty of doors for me, and as as you know, he was manager from hometown as well. So I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for him and such as Linda Martin, and then there's people behind the scenes as well that have been so so helpful as well this last couple of months and years and everything. So it's great, and like um, I think it's a, it's a new year. We've a we've a lovely song pick this year. We've a fantastic team behind us, fantastic delegation. So um, yeah, I'm really uh, I'm really confident about this year that we're going to do really well. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Uh, actually, just finishing about the pressure. Uh, don't you think, or don't you afraid of that? The first week was like more lighter, but then in the end, this pressure and everything will jump into you like double. This week coming? Yeah. Now that you said it, yeah. <laughs> no, um, no, I'll take it as it comes. I'll take, um, yeah, I'll take everything as it comes. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'm going to do my best and uh, try to perform for my country as best I can. Untouchable. Yeah. <laughs> great, great. This is good. Paula, please. Hi again, Simon from the Polish Review this letter. If not singing, then what would you do in your life? I'm referring to lovely Niv Kavanagh, talented Niv Kavanagh. She started in banking sector and now she's master chief of Ireland. <laughs> so what do you do in your life if not singing? I can't dance. Uh, <laughs> can't act. I can try it. I don't know. I'm fairly used to everything else, to be honest. <laughs> um, I, I used to do a lot of uh, athletics when I was younger, running and stuff. I'm not that good anymore, but... <laughs> uh, you know, um, I suppose music has always been there. Like, I um, I was singing in competitions when I was about 12, just to back on tracks and everything. And I picked up the guitar when I was uh, 13. So, um, it took me about a year to get a good grasp for that. And then I started busking them when I was 15 and onwards and onwards. So, um, you know, I, I can't imagine myself doing anything else other than performing and singing, so, um, yeah. That's it. Okay, if today you are in your 20s and uh, you are the most, um, uh, like, fish in, uh, in the water singing, in the end, where do you see you in, uh, let it be in five years at least, and then in ten? If you are having already here experience on the Eurovision Song Contest, what would be the next global step of yours? In five years. I hope I don't have any children by then. Uh, <laughs> I might find a nice woman and settle down. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> um, yeah, I just hope I'm, uh, I'm still performing and still singing on stage. And this is, uh, this is an excellent platform for me, I think. And uh, it's going to be wonderful. And I'm just going to keep powering on. I'm going to keep singing. I'm going to keep playing guitar. And this is going to open so many doors, I think. And it's going to be wonderful. Thank you so much. Who's going to ask the next question? You, please. Hi, Pete Fenner from the commentary for Iceland. Um, hi, Brendan. Hi, how are you? Yeah, I just wanted to know how the idea for the balloon came around. Because you're in the middle of this stage and you can't move very far. Did you want something to hold on to? Did you want to be a restricted area? Or how did it come about? Um, yeah, well, um, our, um, our staging uh, person, Nicolina, she's down there, yeah, and then, uh, so she, um, she thought of the, uh, the concept of the whole balloon and everything that, um, that, you know, love can take off at any minute and it can send you in any direction in the world, like, so that's what the message in the song delivers, I think, um, and yeah, I think we kind of talked about it as well, you know, I'm, uh, as I said, I'm not, I'm not a dancer or I kind of one for moving that way, but, um, you know, I just, so it's kind of saving you. Uh, yeah, a little bit. I, I feel well. I feel comfortable there, and uh, you know, I, I feel in my comfort zone. And I think when I'm there, I'm at my best. When I'm still and when I'm focused on my vocal, I'm at my best. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yes, Radio International, please. Brendan, you have such an angel's voice when you sing the song. When you speak in the press conference, it's completely different. So how is that possible? <laughs> That's one question. The second question is, uh, are you working on some material for after the Eurovision Song Contest, an album perhaps, or doing a bit more through the Eurovision world? How many Brendans we meet here? <laughs> hey Brendans, I just don't want to hope. <laughs> uh, yeah, well that's my for the, for the first question about my voice. Uh, I don't know myself how it came about. 
Um, I think I was. Just, I think it's just my natural tone, how I kind of sat. I think my brother and my sister as well. They kind of had the same tone as well, and my dad as well, as well as that. So I, I think I got it off then. Anyway. So no, uh, no, no rock singing then. No, no what? No rock singing. Rock singing. Rock singing. Rock, rock singing. No, no, no. <laughs> Maybe later on. But um, yeah, I think uh, you know. I think uh, it's it's like Marmite. I guess you either like it or you hate it. Like and. Um, I've, I've got a lot of compliments for it, so I'm really grateful for that. And uh, what was the second? And the second question? question was about your plans after the. So My plans after, yeah. Um, at, as the minute, yeah. At the minute, I think uh, the main focus is just Eurovision, and to launch myself there, and then we'll, we'll go from there. That's it. It's, um, yeah, as I said, plenty of doors to open. Okay. As we can see, you're not alone today, and we would love to hear all the voices you have here. Could you please sing a couple of lines? Yeah. Yeah. You have the microphones on this object yeah. over there, actually, too. So yeah, 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 don't be so shy. Yeah, 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 just grab them. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being here with us and answering all our questions. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.